Which SBI do you need for your setup? Here today I've got the SBI 12, SBI 12D and LLD. Now all three look the same, so I've got this one here to show you. We've got a little microprocessor on the front of them here, your normal input there, output, and then an override blue wire, and then your grounding wire. Pretty simple. Um, the normal SBI 12, been around for a long time. Nice and e easy to use for simple dual batteries on cars that don't have smart alternators or temperature compensating like all the Toyotas have. So we use these a lot for get home safe kits um, or just simple dual batteries where you just wanna have a similar battery to what you have a start battery, so no AGMs or deep cycles, anything like that. Just a normal lead acid, same starter. Just open the circuit up and use a simple setup. We also use these a lot to be an isolator for Anderson plugs to the back of the vehicle. So if you wanted to have your caravan power feed from the front of the vehicle to the back and be able to use an easy setup that doesn't need to be turned off wire, ignition wire to. A lot of cars you can just put the positive to this, negative to this, and then the sensor automatically figures it out. So these are programmed at 13.2 volts to turn on and then turn back off at 12.5 volts. So it can work with a lot of vehicles, just easily plumb in, plumb out, it's nice and simple. The SBI 12D, yet again, looks the exact same. All the difference between that one is, is it can sense from both sides. So the SBI 12 can only sense from the side here with the red little bit on the front there the SBI-12D can sense on the back side as well. So if you had a dual battery under the bonnet in an older vehicle, and you wanted to be able to, when that battery at the back gets filled up from a solar panel, send power back to your start battery, that's what you'd buy the D for. So it can sense both sides and enter that power the other way as well. Um, and then we've got the LLD. So the LLD is a low voltage, low disconnect. Basically similar programming to the normal SBI-12, on this sensor's one way but the programming is set a lot lower voltage. So rather than being at 13.2, it's at 11 volts. So it opens up at 11 volts and turns off at 10.5. So if you had an AGM or a lead acid under the bonnet and you wanna make sure you don't permanently kill it every time you're running something low, you put this in between your loads out. So this will automatically show off any loads so your battery doesn't drop below 10.5. Nice, easy little way to save some of your battery life um, and save yourself some time. If you've got any other questions, give us a yell on info at perthpro.com.au or drop a comment down below. See you in the next one.